Mr. Fink, we've heard an awful lot about the conference and, and uh, what happens with it and how important it was for people to get together. And I have no problem with conferences and people getting together as appropriate moments for that. But do you know the attendance? We've talked about this before. Do we know how many people actually attended the workshops? We understand there was a full eight-hour day of workshops. Do we have a list somewhere of how many people were in the workshops and actually attended it? No, sir, we do not. So there, there's no role was taken at those and there's no head count of each workshop as they attended it. Here's how many people were in the workshops. That's correct, sir. Okay. There was no role. The, the, the irony to me is actually as I go through the list of actual workshops, I'm, I'm sure you've gone back and taken a look at it, it's unbelievably ironic as you go through the list of the workshops that were held at this event. A few of those, making telework work. We have a 50, well, we have uh, that, this particular was not 50 million, but we've got all, all these conferences we're having in 2010, and all these people to gather together for this very expensive conference, and they have a, a meeting about telecommuting and teleworking. Now, several years later now, our conference expense is much less because we're actually making that happen. How about this one? Political savvy, how not to shoot yourself in the foot. Or unintentional intolerance. Don't be so nice. This is the other one. Why doesn't somebody do something? With all that happened with the nonprofits, it, it's ironic to me that in the middle of this conference there's training actually about receiving other people and speaking out when you see a problem. And then later, apparently no one spoke out and saw a problem with it. Talk matters, authentic conversations. Spent $7,000 bringing someone in to talk about how to have authentic conversations with people. And an amazing one to me is the over $10,000 to pay someone to talk about intolerance, when at the same exact moment the IRS is in another area isolating people that are Tea Party or conservative groups, but yet we're paying $11,000 to teach people not to be intolerant. It's completely ironic to me as we walk through what actually occurred at the conference. You know as well as I do. This has got to shift. It has to shift, and it will. Changes have already been put in place and should be kept in place. But I would also concur that accountability is important in this process. Thank you for your testimony for the investigation of what's happening. With that, I want to be able to yield back. We need to be able to move on to our next panel. Yes, sir, I would yield.